皆さんこんにちは。And welcome to Shogo's podcast. So, this is the Omake talk for the video where I talked about how Yaido, the katana martial art, changed my life. Now, if you haven't watched the main video yet, it's inside the description box. I hope you can check it out. And if you've already watched the video, thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. Yeah, so I really wanted to、um, have an occasion to talk about it. I think it's For many people who are interested in training in Yaido, I think it's like the first thing that would come to your mind. I mean, like, for example, if it was judo or kendo or karate, I mean, you get to actually learn skills where you're able to, for example, like, you know, protect yourself for self defense kind of purposes. Even kendo, you might not even, you know, might not, you know, carry around a bamboo sword outside, but still,、um, definitely your eyes will be trained to be able to react. To attacks, right? Yes. But Yaido, literally, again, you train on your own and you're swinging a t a n a on your own. You don't react to any quick movements or anything, right? And of course, you will not be holding out the katana outside of what is the purpose for. So, I really wanted to explain about、um, how I feel why Yaido is important. So, I really hope you enjoyed、um, the video. And again, if you have any other opinions, please let me know in the comments over there. Over here is fine too. Yes. So, The one really important thing that I wasn't able to include in the main video that I really thought I need to talk about is、um, so, this discussion about、um, what is more important is it the skills or is it the heart kind of discussion happens quite often in Japan when we talk about Japanese martial arts. Yes. So, you know, I always talk about that jutsu are the actual skills to go and actually kill or attack someone, and then it eventually changed, shifted into do, which、um, is for mental training to、uh, have a stronger soul, a mind, and things like that, right? I always talk about these things. But When we talk about this, we always,、um, many Japanese people, you know, people who train in martial arts, people who don't train in martial arts, always say, like, what's more important? Is it actually the mind or is it actually the skills? Because it's really difficult at first to try to understand that you're trying to, again, you know, you're trying to learn a skill to go and attack someone, but you're trying to become a person who. Isn't going to fight, you know. It sounds like contradiction at first. So that's the reason why a lot of Japanese people are confused too. Yes. And that's the reason why this debate just keeps on going forever. Yes. And one thing, so in my video too, I, ta- I explained that、um, how fast you can swing your sword is not important, or how many mats you can cut are not important, or things like that, right? Yes. And that is my true feelings. That's where I really think. But at the same time, I also understand that this is something that a person who can do these things can say. I hope this makes sense.、Uh, let me give you an example. When I used to work at Shishin Samurai Restaurant, Ma, the owner, I really respected the owner,、um, and that's the reason why I wanted to work there as my first job after graduating university. Yes. Now, my, my owner at that time, my, he's my friend now, by the way, he was a kind of person who really, really focused on the heart for hospitality. For you know, running a restaurant, talking with my guests, or serving them. He really focused a lot on the heart kind of thing. Yes. So when, once I started working at Shishin Samurai Restaurant, I was the manager actually. I started to run that restaurant, and he was the owner. I started to train in a little bit before that Yaido, after that tea ceremony, and things like that, because I wanted to understand Japanese culture more, also the history and things, so I'll be able to explain it to my guests, you know, because I would. Receive a lot of questions about samurai history and also, you know, culture and things like that. And also because tea ceremony is about literally about training your、um, power of hospitality, you could say your skills of hospitality. So I really wanted to, you know, be able to do these things better. Yes. But what he told me、um, when I started doing these things, he told me that don't run to skills, you know, don't run to try to. Learn skills and feel as if you understand everything. The heart is what's most important, and skills are not that important compared to the heart. Yes. Now, I do understand what he's trying to say. Yes.、Um, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't grow your arrogance or feel that you've fully understood something just because you're able to, just because you have skills. So, 
just because you're able to do the procedures of tea serving perfectly, it doesn't mean that you have a perfect mind for omotenashi hospitality, right? Yes, that's understandable. But at the same time, I really felt, isn't that something that a person who has mastered tea or katana or anything is able to say? If it was a person, for example, did, that did tea ceremony for 30, 40 years in their lives, and they've basically mastered, they remembered everything, everything, every small procedure, you know, how to teach these things to, and these grandmasters in the, for example, uh, you know, like after, again, after 30, 30, 40 years of training, they say, no, skills are not important, it's all about your mind. This makes sense, right? A person who doesn't have skills or a person who has not developed um, enough abilities yet or haven't gotten any results yet, you know, if they start to say that no, skills are not important, it's more about the mind, it just sounds like an excuse, doesn't it? It just sounds like because they can't do you know, put enough effort into obtaining the skill, they're just trying to run away and say that the mind is more important and saying that I'm not going to be training anymore, I'm not going to be working um, harder than this kind of thing. I hope this makes sense. So I understand fully that if I want to say that the mind is more important, that the heart is more important, I need to be the best at Yaido, if that makes sense, yes. Because in the end, um, this right now, what I said in the video is my true intentions, my true feelings, but I understand at the my position now, being the first down rank in Yaido, only been training for six years, it's really, really short to just say that I fully understand, or I haven't even got to the entrance of Yaido yet, I must say. But so, uh, yeah, so I understand that in the end, I really need to just continue training. Yes. And I really need to, to focus on my skills too. Yes. Saying that the mind is more important, the heart is more important, doesn't mean that you don't get try to get better at what you're doing. You fully focus on trying to get better. So you fully focus on trying to swing their katana faster and bigger, you train very, very hard to try to cut as much mats as possible, and then you're finally able to say that cutting mats or swinging fast is not the true purpose or it's not the, um, the main reason for you to do the training. Yes, I hope I'm. I hope um, what I'm saying makes sense. Yes, so I just wanted to say in the Omaka talk here that I fully understand that. Yes, and whenever you do on um, Japanese traditional things, yes, I think this is something that's really important that you keep in mind. Yes, especially for me, I train in yaido, tea ceremony, no theater. These things don't have an answer if that makes sense. You really have to define your own purpose of why you do these things because there is no um, tournament where someone will judge you, right? Yes, if you're if that's good or bad. Well, Yaido has tournaments, but they're done by people and judges are just people. So it really is up to that person if he, li if he or she likes you or not, yes. So um, I think it's really important, yes. And we're just, uh, it's great that I was able to share this idea with you and trying to make it into, you know, English and trying to explain everything was really good for my studying too, so yes. So please um, let me know about what you thought about this opinion on um, if you train in Japanese traditional martial arts or anything else. If you feel it's something similar in learning or training and other things too, please let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to learn more from you, so okay? Then thank you so much everyone. So as I always say, the ultimate goal of my life is to make all Japan lovers' dreams come true. Yes. I know there are a lot of people who have their hopes and dreams in Japan. They might want to study Japanese, they might want to travel to Japan and see the history and culture, they might want to train again, yes, in our martial arts and traditional culture and such, yes. However, I am a little bit worried that Japan, not a little bit, I always tend to say a little bit, but I'm very worried that Japan will not be able to provide these things in the future because Japan is facing a lot of social problems. We are losing our traditional culture and all the 
uh, historical sites in, in, uh, in, in Japan, yes. And also the younger generation are suffering because of these social issues. You might know about the, um, the fact that Japan has the biggest number of young committing suicide in the world. Yeah. So I want to dedicate my life in trying to solve the social problems, try to preserve and also evolve the traditional culture as we talked about in our main video in Omaka Talk today. And also I want to help the younger generation for so they can have a brighter future. I'm thinking of some um, businesses I can start in the future for them to have a better life. Yes, it I might not be able to make big change, but I'm going to be di doing whatever I can, yes. Because, you know, that's all one person can do, right? Do their best, yes. And what I'm willing to do my best to try to do this, yes. I don't know, I just just really feel that this suits me. When I, um, every time I say, talk about my dream, I just really feel that, oh, this is my thing, yes. I don't know if it really is, but it just really feels right when I say it, so. Um, so yes, my closest goal right now though is to achieve 1 million subscribers on my main channel on YouTube. So it'd be great if you can give me likes and comments. They would help my uh, videos be boosted to new people who have never seen my videos before. Yes. And if you'd like to support me even more, it'd be great. It'd be great if you can join our membership too. You'll be able to see uh, limited videos and also a weekly uh, live stream too just for the members. Yes. Alright, so everyone, thank you so much, and I'll be waiting for your comments. Arigatou gozaimashita!